Ladies and gentle suppers, welcome back to another weekly guild stats video for a simple MMO. This week we'll be covering 10 through 17 March. Uh, so without further ado, let's just hop in. Nothing too crazy this week, I'll tell you now. Uh, switching over to the guild details, we have the newly active guilds first. And now we have a total of five newly active guilds, newly created two as well, uh, from 10 through 17 March, somewhere in there. Uh, we have Grace Warriors. Drag Fandom, Dragon Slayers, Sadism, and then the other, that last one I'm not even going to uh, attempt to pronounce. My brain's a little too dead right now. It's a little too late in the night <laughs> based off of this recording. But anyways, um, Grace Warriors and Drag Fandom are pretty much the two that really matter. Sorry to say this to everyone else, unless they just created that guild right before I pulled the stats. Um, those other three aren't going to make it very far. Grace Warriors probably has the best chance, and I hope that the Domino Grace is able to lead them to a graceful victory, right? Cheesy, but you know what I mean. Um, so congrats to these five new guild leaders. I hope that they do well in their um, presentation of their guild and, and the recruitment process that they got to go through because without proper recruiting, they're not going to get anywhere, unfortunately. But all right. Moving on to the deleted guild portion, and honestly, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy here. Uh, Absolute Bean, uh, that guild closed down. Their guild leader did go over to Grace Warriors, though, so hopping from their guild to a brand new guild, and hopefully they do well. Golden Steppers, led by Golden Fox, they closed down their guild and moved over to Newbies, and now I know Lucas's old guild that got shut down that we talked about either last week or the week before, around that time period, they merged it into Newbies as well, so Newbies is continuing to gather new players or you know old players coming back. And then finally, you have this last guild here, uh, and then their leader went off to Blackwater. Nothing too crazy. So in, in total, this is the guild details for 10 through 17 March. But let's actually get into the stats portion of it. Now, there's maybe a little... F there we go. All right. It worked just fine. <laughs> no worries. No Jane Core aesthetic here tonight. Now, this is the first row of the guild stats dashboard. We have 789 total guilds. 77 were active this past week. Now, that is a big drop compared to what it's normally been for the first quarter of 2024. It's been around, you know, in the 90s, high 80s, but mostly 90s. And all of a sudden, we have a drop from 77 weekly active guilds. Now, nothing to be worried about because we have the Easter event occurring on the 22nd, which is, you know, in a few days from this recording. So, I'm sure that the guild weekly guild... A number is going to go well into the 90s again during that event. It's, it's, it's just, you know, we keep talking about the MMO cycles and events and everything like that. So, no worries. It is what it is. Took a small dive. It's going to be just fine. Um, so, out of the 789, 432 of those guilds are PvE only. And then 357 of them are PvP enabled guilds. So, that's the basic f stats there. Now, let's move into the top 10 PvP guilds for the week. Of course... Babel is on top. They have that 15.5 mil. Rain Factory holding the second place. Just barely, but they're doing it. 11.1 uh, mil. So they got to, you know, they're going to have to keep grinding week by week to keep that, that position. Still friendly too. After that merger between the friendly families, they, they are going really well uh, with a 10.6 mil. TSL, the Scarlet Legion, 10.6 mil as well. Just barely under still friendly too. And then you have the Forest, Wolf Blood. Friendly, Prostor, Murder the Universe, and finally Golden Arrows holding on to that 10th place position. So good job to all, all those guilds. You know, it's the classic guilds that we see day in and day out. Um, but hey, it is what it is. They are consistent, and they're good at holding a top 10 position. So nice work to them. Now, the top 10 PvE guilds for the week. Dead Poet Society, still on top with that 4.2 mil. Very nice. Shadow Garden led by Shadow with a 3.4 mil. Blackwater, old school guild that we keep talking about. Uh, 2.6 mil. The Coven, in fourth place. Uh, a little teaser, but next week it's going to be a sad time for them. Um, in the weekly guild stats, next video for next week at least. Zelf, Zenith Kitties, still holding on to that fifth place position. Wolf in the sixth place position. Uh, the Titans. Then we have Phoenix, which I haven't heard much about, 
And so that's nice to see that uh, a newer name is coming up and holding strong in eighth place position. Indonesia constantly coming in and out of that top 10 PVE. Um, and then finally, TPC holding on to that 10th place position. So good job to them. And that is a breakdown for the guild stats for the week of 10 through 17 March. I know it's pretty easy, pretty fast. We like to keep it short and sweet so you guys can get all the data that you want really fast and enjoy it. And if you enjoy this stuff, please go ahead and leave a like on the video. We really appreciate that. Go ahead, comment down below uh, if you're part of these guilds or if you know you are, are, are wanting to join these guilds or just even trash talk these guilds for whatever it may be. Friendly banter, please. Um, and if you keep coming back week for week before these guild stats, you know, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. As always, I'm always open to, you know, critiques or if you want to see different types of data being displayed that you would find interesting, by all means, let me know. We could make changes to this dashboard. This is for you guys and I enjoy doing this type of stuff. So just let me know. Leave a comment down below, DM me, whatever you want to do. It's all good. But that'll be it. That was 10 through 17 March. Till next time.